Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us on the Xbox One. And we're about to start episode two, so enjoy. Do something, Big V, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Come with me. Interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject! You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill one. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, big. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuckman. A girl named Fuckman? Come sniffing around this place. Rich fucks in the woods need to check down. Now, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Yeah, now she's dead. I don't know why they didn't feel the need to show that part, but I guess it's because they're about to show it off here. Uh, spoiler alert. So yeah, they do that at the end, at the start of every episode. They have a, uh, you know, retelling of what happened last episode. Because you gotta remember, this game came out episodic uh, when it first came out. It didn't come out on disc right away with all the episodes included. So yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, cutscene coming up, so enjoy this, and, uh, we're about to see a more dickish side of Big B. Yeah, Big B, Big B can be a funny one when he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> so dramatic. Mr. Wolf! You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. It was funny. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. What the hell? That's, uh, weird. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. 
Is there something? just happened. I'm officially creeped out. Oh, hello. We have to go, now! What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours, and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up! Don't rush me, man. I'm having a cigarette right now. Well, not anymore, but you know what I mean. Should probably grab that picture, too, just saying. We, we don't want them seeing that. No, that, that'd be bad. Take that, yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, well, well, you know, the asshole saved us. I guess I owe him a thank you, at least. I don't want to, because he's a fucking asshole, but I guess I owe him that much. Here's a fucking crane. Again, I like crane and uh, the whole story of uh, Sleepy Hollow and whatnot, but uh, in this game, fuck them. Dick. <clears throat> Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Uh, yeah, he could. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big D, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. As of late. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. You do? It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. Yeah, don't you feel like a dick now? I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Damn. You got some strength on you there, Bigby. I, I don't think I could pull that off. <laughs> Alright, so... Now it's time for the interrogation scene, and, uh... Like I mentioned, uh, previously, I'm gonna be showing off what happens when you interrogate the Woodsman, too, but, uh... 
for my playthrough, I did Rusty and I stuck with it. Just wanted to throw that out real quick. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. Hello. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. And I'm good at it, too. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Looked all right, except for this big hole in the wall. Might get drafty. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Now, we can do this two ways. We can be very abusive, or we can be nice, so we're gonna be nice. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers! Yeah, we'll go and loosen those for you. I don't like you, but I'll be nice to you for now. Ah, that's better. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Big B, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No! I'm not sending you after my brother! Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Hmm, let's, uh, let's try using this, shall we? Start with the cigar. I could use the smoke after a long night I had. I'm saving that! And now you're not. Just saying. This is really... What's the point of this? You'll see. Here. Yeah, all right. Wanna see a trick? <clears throat> yeah, nice trick, dickwad. Look, Big B, this isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. We'll see about that. Uh, how about some booze? You just carry this around? Always handy that way. Fair enough, I guess. I couldn't hurt, I guess. This is 
ridiculous. He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince. What's next, Bigby? You're gonna give him a massage? Offer him a nice steak dinner? Bluebeard? I've already heard your opinion. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss. So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. You can, and you will. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Yeah, that shirt does need clean, doesn't it? I better get that back. You will. I'm being nice. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. You need to leave. Uh, now! Yeah, I'm shutting that shit down, motherfucker. Seriously, fuck you, Bluebeard. You are a cunt. Alright. Go kick his ass. Yeah, take that, bitch. Choke your ass out, motherfucker. Yeah, it's not so nice getting beat up, is it, Bluebeard? What the fuck? No. What's going on down here? Oh uh, boy. Hello. What? What the fuck? Snow. What? What? What's going on here? What in the motherfuck is going on? What? Okay, so apparently Snow White's not dead. What is going on here? How did we see the head then? Uh, anyways, uh, I'm just going to go and talk about the investigation and see a little bit more. So you can be rude to him, you can punch him in one night, you can, you know, tighten the straps and pocket his money and hit him in the head with his bottle and whatnot. You know, you can be a real dick and that'll also get him talking, I believe, but uh, I, I don't like to be a dick. I like to be a good cop in this game, so yeah. And uh, like I said, I'm going to show off the Woodsman uh, interrogation scene too, so... Yeah, we'll take a look at that in just a second. Hear that in the next part, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's this part though. I should rewatch this footage, but I never do, you know that. You know that by now, if you know me, I don't rewatch the footage, I just go in it blind because that's how I roll. Okay, yeah. Guess not. I will be showing that off next part though, don't you worry. So. Yeah, let's get an explanation on how Snow White's fucking alive. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Exactly! Well, you don't believe me? Yeah. What the fuck, Snow? Seriously, I liked you in episode one. What What the hell? You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. 
After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. Oh shit. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. Awkward. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now! That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, poor kid. Don't worry, we'll, we'll take good care of him in the next part. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.